Today we are going to do something a little bit different than usual. I am going to teach you how to analyze an MTT cell viability assay using GraphPad Prism. So here is my MTT. I read it on a spectrophotometer at 570 nanometers. The inner wells here are my active test wells with cells that have been treated with a serial dilution of my drug of interest. And then the outer wells are just PBS wells. Um, the way that I exported this, it already has the blank subtracted from the test well values. So we're just going to copy all of these. We're going to mosey on over to GraphPad. We're going to do an XY graph, enter import data into a new table, numbers, and then for Y axis, we're going to do enter three replicate values in side by side columns and push create. So I'm going to paste my values here and we're going to call this cell one, and then this is cell two. And then in the X um, column here, I want to put cisplatin, which is the drug of choice used in this experiment. And then we're going to put the serial dilution that I used um, in the experiment and just the values here. So first steps first is we are going to go ahead and analyze our graph. And the first analyze um, that we are going or analysis, I guess, that we are going to do is going to be transforming concentrations. And I have both of these cells selected here. And push OK. If zero or if X is zero, replace it with a different value in this type of assay, zero has to be defined. So we're gonna call it something very small, like one to the negative um, zero, zero, eight. And then we're going to transform to logarithm, log 10, which is the common one is what we're gonna do. So then you're gonna get this transform X of data two, which is the data that I'm working with right now. So staying on this, I'm gonna push analyze again, and I'm gonna go normalize the data. Push okay, everything here is fine. I'm gonna push okay, and now the data is normalized. And so I'm here on the results tab. I'm now on the normalization of the transformed data. Now I'm gonna push analyze again. This is the third analysis that we're doing. And we are going to go do a nonlinear regression fit. I'm going to push OK, and this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So we're going to do um, one of these, which is a dose response inhibition. And we're going to select log inhibitor versus response variable slope with four parameters. Then we are going to go ahead and go up to compare. And we want to do the best fit values for each selected, blah, 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 blah. And we're going to do that with the log IC50 as being one of our parameters. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to go to confidence. We want to plot confidence prediction bands at 95%. We're going to go ahead and just push OK now because we're done with this. And it went ahead and it plotted something very nice here. It doesn't look nice, but it will be. We're going to go here and make the graph be a points and connecting line with error bar graph, plotting the mean and error. So I'm going to push OK. And then we're just going to format the graph so it looks nice and pretty. So first we're gonna to go to frame and origin and we're gonna set the origin to the lower left. And then the shape will be um, auto wide is fine. We'll keep that like that. And then we're gonna to go to X axis and we're gonna deselect this auto and then we're gonna kind of adjust where the values need to be. So I'm just gonna push okay for now and I'm gonna look. All right, so I'm going to adjust the x-axis accordingly. Let's do like negative 7 and 2, and we'll see how that looks. 7 and 2. All right, that looks a little bit better. Let's go ahead and bring it out. Maybe we'll now adjust the y-axis. and Let's do it. We're going to do 0 to 100 because that's how cell viability works. It's either dead or alive. And you get this really nice curve here. Let's adjust the x-axis a little bit more. We'll try three. Now we're going to go here to the left axis and we're actually gonna add a tick line at, um, let's do 50% because we're looking at the IC50. There, perfect. And now we're gonna double click the graph. We're gonna look at data sets on graph and we're gonna actually remove the ones that are um, normalized. Where am I? Remove. If I go to the um, nonlinear fit tab here, I can actually see the IC50. So I'm going to copy these cells. I'm actually going to paste them onto this, and it's going to show me. I like it to see with the. I like to see it with the rows and columns transposed, and I just plop it here at the bottom of the graph. The IC50 of cell one is 3.167 micromolar, 
and of cell two at 4.613 micromolar. We're just gonna call this um, like percent cell viability. And I can call the graph something like cell one versus cell two response to cisplatin. And this is how you get the IC50 of a certain drug using an MTT cell viability assay and then analyzing the raw data using GraphPad Prism. If you want to go a little bit further, we can get a new data table. Let's do a column and we'll say that this is cell one, this is cell two, and we'll go copy these, plop them into there. And then you can go ahead and look at the value in a little bit of a different way. So this would be concentration of cisplatin in micromolar. Data three would just say cisplatin IC50. That's how you analyze this data.